Today lecture, I'm going to discuss about sequence generated transformation in Informatica Power Center. So this is the video lecture 27 of this Informatica class series. So this is a small point about the sequence generated transformation. So this is your connected transformation and the passive transformation. And with the help of this sequence generator, we can generate some number, sequence number like 1 to 3, 0, 1 to 3 and so on. And here it does not affect the numbers of input rows. So since this is a passive transformation, so there is no any changes on the rows. Simply that generates the number, sequence number by using sequence generator. So if table has uh, any issue related with the primary or unique key, better use sequence generator transformation. So it has two port, one is uh, current and the next. So let's understand by example. So here going to open the mapping designer. So taking the source there. So this here. So sequence generator used when you are using go flat file. Okay. So that this is necessary and you can also use the relational table. So let's create here new mapping m underscore sequence and after that they are going to use the flat file and emp so they are dragging inside there and here you can see there is a higher date is there so all this if you click there or this port on this so this is the uh, date time is there. So if you go and check the record. So this is the record. You can see. Let's click on this. And uh, here all files. And uh, EMP is the file. Let's click on there. So here you can see total rows are 15 is there. And there that will generate the uh, next value and the current value. So here sequence generate the number that generate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the current or if uh, here next value that generate by the 2. If current value is 1 then next value is 2. And here you can see this is the uh, DD, YY and MM format is there. So that or this flat file going to do some changes first. So go to properties here. Let's so write there dd mm then yy. And now let's so or uh, use the first expression transformation. And here selecting this all and dragging inside the expression. Now the next is let's take the sequence generator transformation. So sequence generator transformation so it has two output port one is next val and current val. Here you can see this is indication of this output. Let's select this tools and drag inside there of this expression. Double click there then you can see two ports are both are disabled only output port so that you cannot do any changes properties here you can see a start value that is from 0 if you want then you can increase there increment 1 you can if you want then you can increase here in value you can also do changes current value and here cycle so without any changing anything I wanna or this I wanna or print the sequence number into the target. So let's take the one target or uh, target table dummy and uh, here select this all and dragging there. So here this turn and here you can see M sequence mapping is valid. After that let's go on this workflow manager and thereafter let's take the one session and this is our mapping m sequence 
and now double click this here go to mapping sq so first here let's uh, do one thing so i'm going to copy the file location so file is in desktop and this is the location of this file copy this then open the workflow manage so let's go on this sq and here this is the file location we need to give and the file of emp csv tab there after this dummy so hr connection that's fine and here target load time normal and if is there if any record present there so with the help of truncate target table this will remove the uh, previous record here you can see this all this is here and now apply ok and stabilize the task and here stabilize the link then save that so here you can see workflow is valid let's click on this and start task so this run succeeded and now let's go on this get session log and here you can see sequence generator transformation when you connect the connect port of the integration service process 1 row in each block and here it does not have any primary key and here you can see this insert operation that's done here and if I scroll down here you can see this take total buffer size by its block size so when you are using sequence editor then translation this take the size inside the memory and here you can see of insert and of acted and this about the session now let's see the records so this dummy here let's go on this preview data give the all detail then you can see there this you can see so first is current value current value is now and here this is the next value so if current value is 1 next value is 2 so this generate here 15 and 16 so total 50 records are there okay so or uh, there you can see as uh, on this property that stated here on this you can generate transformation so a start value then in case so 0 plus 1 so that first row that become 1 and here since current value is 1 so that next value that uh, become 2 and after that that's processing the record the next uh, thing is every time you run the session or let's uh, here click on this restart task So that's done here, succeeded. Now let's go on this dummy preview data. Here, give the password. Then you can see there. So this terms, uh, it was 15. In the last position, it was 15. But now the next value that is now 16 and that increase. So every time when you run session, the sequence number generated a new value. Okay, so new value that generated there. Okay. So that, uh, this is the things there. So for this, uh, here, this is every time you run, and here this is current value that listed, but it was current value is now 15. After that, that increased by one. So every time you run the session, the new sequence generator value that's come there. So if you want to do the reset, so reset, restart the sequence value current position. So let's give you a current position they're giving okay so this will start the value from the two by clicking this reset button when the session is time the session that run so this will reset there save that and now let's start the session so session it succeeded now check the record inside the target so here you can see or uh, this is now 31 that's generating and now 
let's so here I start once again so here you can see 31 once again that's generated so each time you run then here again this is resetting the value so this doesn't change anything this is simply resetting and I want the value to display from here a start value that so I want to display from the one and current value also one okay so I start with that increase by one current by is now one so let's apply okay now save that and here click on this as start so let's just check here record so here you can see this terms a start value is now one next value is two and here this is increased so each time if you run the session there is no any chances so let's so here this is if you start restart the task there is no any changes because there I set the reset property so this succeeded now let's refresh that so this refreshed here here you can see the same value or if I open once again so here you can see HR then you can see the same value that's come there so this is the property about so this is about the property of the start value and increment by one so you can increment by one five seven according to your requirement current value I set it here so that uh, current value that changed that one and every time that you run the session then here there is no any changes on the rows because here this is a start and the increment by one so the value that you start from the one or till the rows end so restart the sequence current value each time the session run so okay this is the things and now there is so a property called here or cycle so here let's check that cycle on checking the reset so suppose this time giving the value so this giving go total is so 20 12 so here 1 to 12 the value that display after that for other again that start the cycle 1 to 3 okay when you check the cycle property so let's so uh, save that and now uh, start the task so this turn here and now let's so uh, check the record preview data Here you can see this code tool till 12 after that due to cycle property that set it here that is start from the 1 to 2 so it's just like low and if I start the task once again then the last value is so 3 so that here you can see so here you can see that come from the 4 last value is or uh, 3 the, so that it's come from the 4 so 4 5 6 that's displaying and this is the next one after I'm going to discuss about the last property number of cases values so by default that's 0 and if I click there then here you can see the number of values generated each time or session run so if you give 0 there is no any effect and first here I'm going to run the mapping of without or uh, changing anything so let's go there so let's uh, start the task so here you can see this come there so let's so uh, check the output inside there so here you can see so here current value 1 and next value is 2 so 1 2 3 and here you can see 15 16 that's displaying on the next run there 
the current value is now that becomes 16 and the next value that becomes 17 and if I increase the number of cache so let's give here the values 1000 okay so let's so save that and if I start the task so task run so here now you can see current value and the next value so current value is now that is 16 and here 17 next value is now 17 so since I updated there or uh, number of cache number of cache value 1000 so each times when you session run the number of value that changes 1000 so next run here the value that here you can see current value is now or 16 is here so or the next run 1016 1017 1018 the value that display so that let's so start the or task there and now let's so go and give the password so here you can see 1016 1017 that's display and since there is no any changes on this current value so if I run once again then or this terms again the session that's run succeeded so next time since a number of cache that's given so that's given 1000 so it, it was 1000 then here again number of cache that increased by the 1000 so that become 2000 and here current value is now 16 so that become here 2016-17 like this that's the value display inside the target table so here you can see this time 2016-17 is there okay so uh, if you want to do any changes on this current value you can also do that and make here let's give one so 1000, 1000, 2003 kind of value that display when you say some draw okay so this is about the number of cache the number of value generated each time the session since given 1000 so that or uh, here number of value that changes 1000 so this is about the uh, all important property of this sequence generator translation okay so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so like this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you